Being nervous or being anxious before running a workshop or facilitating a session is completely normal. And even after 10 years of running workshops and facilitating for some of the biggest companies in the world, I still lose sleep the night before I run a workshop. I still think I'm going to mess the whole thing up. And I still, you know, get sweaty palms and, and shake a little bit and I, I lose my appetite. Those things still happen to me today. Even though I've learned to do things like meditation, I've, you know, read all these books, I've taken public speaking courses, I'm doing this YouTube channel for years, I still get nervous before a workshop, I still feel anxious. But one of the best things and most counterintuitive things that I've learned about, you know, feeling this way before a workshop or even during a workshop is just to expect and accept that this is going to happen, that you are going to be nervous and that that is actually okay. And that's just means you're a normal person. So for me, whereas before I used to fight it, I used to maybe overcompensate for feeling nervous and, and come across as a little cocky or whatever. Or for example, I used to feel so annoyed with myself that I couldn't sleep the night before. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, it's 3 a.m. and I still can't sleep. I'm gonna mess up the whole workshop. So really what I do now, when I have a workshop coming up, I already know in advance. I'm not gonna sleep well the night before. That's something that's important for me to have in my head and accept that this is going to happen and not fight it. Because there's nothing worse than being up at 1 a.m. and being annoyed with myself that I can't sleep. And then it just makes me, you know, stay up till 5 a.m. worrying about the fact that I can't sleep. And usually letting go of this resistance actually lets me sleep and feel more calm. And also another thing that I do is I sort of plan for the worst. I saw that Tim Ferriss does this before he does a talk. So he, when he has a TED talk or some big talk coming up, he'll plan to do this talk in the worst possible state of mind, meaning he knows he might be jet lagged, he knows he might get insomnia, he knows he might get a cold, he knows he might feel so nervous that he can't really do it properly. So he sleep deprives himself for a couple of days and then tries to do the talk or tries to feel how he can do these things because then he can make himself more confident that no matter what state of mind he's in, he's still going to be able to run the session. You know, there are other things, of course. If you're a good facilitator and you know how to build workshops, and you can do these things in, in an improvisational way, meaning if the workshop is not going well, you can just change it because you know how workshops are built and you know all the tips and tricks of facilitation, all the tactics. Of course, you feel more confident because then you know, oh, someone's causing trouble or something's not going well. I can do this, this and this, and this will solve the problem based on experience and based on what I've learned. And there's a, there's a downloadable down below. You can click and you can download that and it will give you a little hint of some of the things you can do to improve your facilitation and get you a little bit more confident. At the end of the day, just don't beat yourself up if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling anxious before doing something like this. You know what, it's just a sign that you're doing something that makes you feel alive and nervous and excited. And honestly, that's, that's it for me. I still feel nervous, I still feel anxious, but because I expect to feel those things, because I know that those things are coming up, I feel a little bit more calm because I don't fight those things anymore. All right, I hope that helped a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about facilitation or <laughs> let me know if you have any other ways that you can help if, there's, if you're feeling anxious before facilitating. What are some things that you do that have worked for you? That could be interesting for me to read as well. Thanks so much for watching the video. Subscribe, like, do all the things if you wanna see more videos from us. Thanks.